Megan, and we are in my craft room right now. Yeah. And um, today I'm going to be doing a kind of DIY video. Um, we are going to be making a Crayola marker from Crayola's marker. So I have made it before. The color thing that I will be showing you, the color chart, it does not look the same, but it's still really, really fun to do. So in the kit, you will get all kinds of stuff. Um, all the stuff on this front you will get. Okay. And um, you can load up your little thing here. So to start, you're just going to, ow, I, I'm just going to pull that piece off and then pop these sides and you pull this part off. So let me move that down so you can see that better. Okay, and so then what you're gonna do, okay, so let me, you should also, so I'm sorry, I keep starting over. I have made a few. These are the ones I have, actually I've made quite a few. These are the ones I've made, I've made, made five. So I've made these. And then I will show you how they, how this writes and just how mine writes at the end. So in each one, you will need the tweezers, obviously. And also it comes with little labels for your markers. And I will be using those. So I'm sorry. Comment down below if you like this lighting. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is, um, first of all, let me tell you. Okay. This is called the barrel thing. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the barrel. Okay? And then you're going to take the pointy thingy, you know, the thing that you write with. Okay? On there. And you're going to take this, and you're going to push it into your barrel as far as you can into the top small opening of the barrel. So you want it about this far in. And then you're just going to place that, there's an opening right here, you're just going to place that in there. Um, this pointy side down. So it should look like that. Okay, so now, you're going to put your mixing tube thingy on here, on your blue thing. There's little openings in here, and then there's little tab opening things in here you're gonna line those up so that way it should stay okay next you're gonna look at your color chart choose the color that you want to be doing i think that i'm going to do oh and one thing it says blue plus yellow these are the bluish greenish yellowish colors this says yellow press plus red. These are all, this is the two colors you're going to be using. This is the two colors you're going to be using. I'm sorry, you can't see that. So, it will have two colors set at the top. Those are the two colors you will be using. For instance, this side says yellow. So, every number on this side will be the yellow color that you do. So, I'm going to make, um, or actually, I'm going to attempt in making this, um, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of pretty. I think I, I like it. Let me see what colors they have so I can decide which color. Um, okay, I think I'm going to try out my lime green color here. Okay, so as you can see on the right, that means yellow because we have the word yellow on the right. So for yellow, you're going to put in 12. And for blue, you're going to put in 3. Everything should add up to 15. That's why the top of this says 15. So we're going to fill this up to the 12. That's where we're going to fill up the yellow to. So, whoops. And the reason you want to line this up is so that way it doesn't fly out when you're working on it. Okay, so... We'll fill it up to the 12. And this is pretty hard to squeeze out. Okay. 
and I accidentally filled it up to the 13. So, yeah, now I'm going to fill it up a little bit past the 15, because instead of filling it up to the 12, I accidentally filled it up to 13. So I'm just going to fill it up a little bit past 15. Okay, so your colors probably will look really weird, and you're like, this is going to be an ugly color. Mine looks super dark, but it actually shows up a little bit brighter than it looks. So, in here, you're going to get this little thingy. Okay, right here. And you're going to get your tweezers and tweeze the top of that. And you're just going to place it into your mixing thing. So, keep in mind that you need to keep holding it in there. And it should absorb it into your little mixing I mean, into your little white thing. So you're just going to hold it in there until there's no remaining liquid left. You can let go after a little bit in your um, mixing thing. It's pretty cool to watch. Let me turn it around so you can see the entire thing. It may be different on every side. So it's really actually pretty cool to watch. And then you're going to get your tweezers once it's all the way. Like there's no liquid left. And I still have a little bit of liquid. So I'll let that sit in there for a second. Okay, so once you have that, we're going to set that aside. And you're going to put this. Let me move this like that. You are just going to... You're just going to place this in here, carefully with the tweezers. Okay, so you're just going to carefully place that in there. Don't worry about pushing it in all the way. It doesn't have to be all the way pushed in. And then you're going to take one of the um, in pieces that look like this. And you're just going to place that on top of your marker and put this yellow thing down. Push it down until you hear two to three clicks. There was two. I always hear two. So then you're going to take your marker out and put it upwards and the ink will slowly start climbing up the point E part. It does take a while for it to start but it works pretty quickly, in my opinion. And as you can see, you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, this is not enough ink. But look how much you have left. I've used this almost every single time, almost. And look how much I have left. I still have that way more than half. So this is working on it. It's pretty close to getting above the plastic, it's actually really close to getting above the plastic. Um, I really hope that you try this. It's really fun. I love making these and I'm hoping I can get a paint maker with the Crayola um, brand for Christmas. Um, yeah. So, while this is going up, you want to make sure that it's right side up, just like this. You can go ahead and get out your pointy thingy, I mean your lid. Looks like that. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> so, you're just going to go ahead and get out your lid. And I'm going to go ahead and get one of my labels. You're going to be using one of your labels in just a second. Once this is nice and filled up. And I'm always super excited to see the end product. Because it's so cool to be like, oh wow, I made a marker. I wonder what it looks like. That's why I'm so excited to see it at the end. Because I always want to know what it's going to look like. Maybe if I tip it upside down it will go faster. You can 
try doing that. You can also place the lid on, on it while it's going. I'm going to shake it. That didn't help. It is really almost there. Like it's so close. Like there's just a little bit left. On this side, it's completely okay. So once that happened, you're going to take your marker and go ahead and shake it up. Then you're going to test it out. Wow. This isn't working that well. So then I'm going to write it down. And it's pretty close. You can't really see that. I think I'm going to call this one grass. Well, that's really all I could think of. I guess I'll call it spring grass. Okay, I know, right? Okay, so then what you can do, I will show you. One second, One second. we're just gonna peel off the sticker and stick it on your marker barrel and then you can look at your color but first i'm going to compare the color to the chart the one on the chart that i used was this one right here and the color i got was dun -da -da -dun. one second this color um so it's pretty close ish kind of but not really but it was really fun to make so i hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching my videos i will see you guys next time oh and happy thanksgiving